Um, the Tenth Assembly is currently cooking the legislative agenda. In fact, some of the principal officers who are supposed to be here are currently attending a meeting that has to do with the legislative agenda. And, um, one of the key issues that will, will be prioritizing is the issue of our economic life of the nation. I saw you highlighting the fact that uh, there, is, there seems to be an understanding and a good relationship between the executive and the legislature in this 10th assembly and that will impact favorably uh, on um, you know policy direction uh, which will be channeled with our bills and our motions so the thinking is that um, this current administration has a national objective and the Tenth Assembly have studied the national objective of the current administration. And it has always been our mindset that though we are three arms of government, we are one government. So if the national objective of the executive is towards improving in, uh, the nation and it is people oriented, all we have to do in partnership with strategic partners like you is to push out resolutions, legislative interventions, also in forms of bills, that will help them have good framework to get that done. So having said that, NAS will work with your organization, which is the NASBA, for tangible legislative framework for economic uh, competitiveness in our country, especially when you consider the current uh, state of our Nigerian economy. Let me also say that the 10th Assembly uh, will not only be interested in bills, just bills. We are going to be looking at um, transformational bills. Bills that um, has a legislative proposal that will author positively the business environment so that we become better than we met it. Um, the bills that must also enable the Nigerian Commonwealth who is what we will be committed to. And bills that will clearly state the mischief in our nation economically and how that mischief will be cured you know, by the bills. It's not just having plenty of bills with less social economic impact. So our bills are going to be impact driven. And I think to be able to fine tune the bills and to make it what it's supposed to be, this strategic partnership today will draw you closer uh, to this ambition of making sure that we are rated not by the number of bills, but by the social economic impact that those bills make in the country. 2016 to date, the Nigerian Economic Summit has convened specific legislative sessions that the principal officers of the National Assembly attend. And it is to give impetus to the fact that there is no economic growth without the legislative arm of government. It simply does not uh, exist. In 2016, um, the um, Eighth Assembly convened a study on what bills will be critical to the reform of the Nigerian economy. And it was the legislature that voted that a cooperation between private sector and the legislature will better deliver reforms that count in terms of jobs created, GDP growth, inclusive growth, lower poverty reduction targets, etc. Of the 115 bills um, in the Ninth Assembly, we worked together to pass many of the landmark bills, some of which you um, have spoken very positive uh, for in, your, uh, in the previous uh, assembly. 
as a distinguished uh, uh, member of the House. Where we are today is an epoch moment because every Nigerian is clamoring. If you ask any Nigerian, all the television stations, all the radio stations, the question is, what can we do with the economy? We think that this distinguished tent assembly and this house can play a crucial role in making things happen. Our journey of NASBA, which is a partnership between us and the National Assembly with the Nigerian Bar Association, the section on business law, provides technical, uh, operational support that helps both the committees of the House and the leadership of the House to expand consultation on economic bills, ensure that uh, the economics, the economics and the technical conversations that back those legislations are in place and we get stuff going, uh, and that we deliver the bills that work.